are good, some are bad. You can basically guess which ones I'm playing from the title. Today we are going to be playing some bad racing games. So without further ado, oh, here we go! Bad racing games! Because I'm too lazy to make separate videos on these games, but I still want to make fun of them. The first game we have is Nickelodeon and SpongeBob All Star Racing. Now, there is a PS1 version, but that deserves its own video. I mean, it's full 3D. And it's on the PS1. That has to be impressive. If, I mean, Crash Bandicoot needed very little polygons to be on screen. And, and stuff. But seriously, this and Spyro are basically the two most impressive games on the PS1. I'm going to be playing the Game Boy Advance version instead of the PS1 version. Because... Uh... Um... I don't know. I guess the... I guess it'll be easier because it has less buttons. You can basically tell that this game is going to be the best thing ever because frickin' SpongeBob. I mean, seriously. Yeah. This is the first game that SpongeBob has ever appeared in. How cool is that? I mean, yeah, sure. It does have very eh controls and the uh, and the uh, tracks are not very defined. In fact, they're very bland. I mean, if you wanted a 3D racing game that had Nickelodeon characters, I would I'd prefer you played Nickelodeon Razor's Revolution 3D, but still. SpongeBob. Now roll that footage. Licensed by Nintendo. Okay, Nicktoons Racing! Yay! Uh, play as ya boy Patrick.
Roll that footage! Ah. Uh, okay. SEGA! That classic sound. Okay. okay. The Oxys. How do you spell? How do you spell the Oxys? Yeah, how? I don't know. Okay. You Sonic. You Knuckles. You Fang. You Metal. You Mr. Sonic. Ah, I missed some rings. It's some bull drifting right there, Miles. <laughs> win! Yay, win! <laughs> uh, 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 run. Dark Valley. Ah! Knuckles, look at him chuckling. I thought he didn't chuckle. I thought he would rather flex his muscles than chuckle. Oh, wait, Sonic, I don't chuckle. Yeah, well, at least I got third. So, what can we say about Sonic Drift 2? Nothing. Nothing at all. Sure, you could talk about how it is kind of meh. But by the time we're done, we could move on to another game, so yeah. The next game is Test Drive Off-Road 2 for the PS1. A common theme for this video is that half of these games are sequels. Roll that footage! Future me! Okay. And by Alkaloid, the same people who made Bubsy. <sighs> Which totally gives them a good reputation. That totally makes this game better, right? No, no it doesn't. Okay, these are physics. Five, four, No, I, no, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. There's no escape from this corridor. Oh wait, yeah, there is. Okay. My review is a no. Next game. Okay, I saved the best for last, Sonic R. Again, this is Sonic Gems Collection, but I don't have a Sega Saturn, so yeah. Roll that footage! Okay. Sonic R, where you can be the pirates. Sonic Pirates. Oh, this is my jam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be super sanic. Oh, yeah. This is my jam. Hey, right on the ground. You're super sonic racing. You're time to look. Everybody. Everybody. These are some killer lyrics. We're in space. This is the Rainbow Road of, of the Sonic franchise. Tracing the moonlight, the fire burn. I played at Super Sonic and I got third place. Now the Grand Prixes are only one race long. So, yeah. Okay, time attack. Normal. There is also a balloon and tag mode. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with this game. Gonna exit the game and listen to this.
It was really angry to be exited out of. So I'm not going to say very much about Sonic R since it deserves its own video. I'm gonna have to recycle content either way. So yeah, there. Back to the live action camera segment. So those were some not very good racing games. I think the worst out of all of them was Test Drive Off-Road 2. And until next time, I have a question for you. Can you feel the sunshine? You're the one that makes me feel so high.